Grab your rod and start fishing. I'll take care of him. Okay. I need my pliers. Just need to whoop that thing down. He's polka dotted. He's polka dotted? He's got that thing down his throat pretty good. Look at his teeth. Oh no. He's probably not the biggest one. Probably, yeah. I still got the first one now. We're gonna go back on that now? Ah, uh, yeah. I still got it. No, don't let him go. Why are you letting him go? keep that anyway. Why? Because we don't like northerns. We like walleyes. What do you think of this fishing stuff, Claire? Fun. Look in the camera. I don't think they heard you. It's fun. Fishing is fun. That's what it's all about when you get your kids out. Make sure it's fun for them. Don't, uh, Fish some ridiculously long hours. You don't want to bore them. You don't want to exhaust them of it. If you want a fishing partner later on in life, which we all do, make it fun. Yeah, I don't see anything. If you got school in the morning and it's a Sunday night, yeah. it might be get to be Sunday night. The lights fun. Yay! So, we gotta get going. Yeah. I have tried it. Some people like it, some people don't. I'm not gonna say it's terrible, but I just don't really care for it. Okay. But anyway, back to that first fish thing. <laughs> Claire thinks that I owe her a dollar on the first fish. I was being a good dad, set the hook, and I let her reel it in. We'll let you guys take the vote. Does Claire owe me a dollar for the fish, first fish, or? I only have two dollars. Well, I like two dollars. That's better than one dollar. <laughs> Do I owe her a dollar, or does she owe me a dollar? You guys, you tell us what's going on. But uh, in the meantime, we're all squared up, because Dad caught one now, too. And a northern, so I really caught two fish. Claire did catch a clam. That takes skill to catch a clam. <laughs> no, it? it doesn't. No skill? Too easy. We'll check back here in a couple minutes and we'll see how things progress. Be able to push that button on the top. All right, guys. So we're here back in the kitchen after a night of good fishing with my daughter. Told you we're going to make some walleye cakes, crappie cakes, whatever you have on hand, but we're going to make fish cakes. I've already taken the pleasure and boiled my walleye fillets. That way you guys don't have to sit there and watch fish boil. You know, nobody wants to sit there and watch water boil. Anyway, you get it to where it uh, starts flaking apart like that. Rinse it off, put it in a strainer, and then chill it for about 30 minutes. So what I'll do is just break everything apart. Make sure it's all nice and flaked apart. And then first thing I'll do is I'll start adding my wet ingredients. My Miracle Whip, Worcestershire, some mustard, stuff like that. So first off, what I like to do is go with about a cup and a half of Miracle Whip. Just rough measurement, you know. Feel free to play with any of these, this recipe, you know, to suit your guys' tastes. If you guys don't like Miracle Whip, just use regular mayo. You know, whatever you guys feel, you know, play with it. So I'll get a nice consistency, you know, just get everything coated up. 
with your miracle whip and then I'll start adding my coarse ground mustard I like coarse ground mustard and just I like the texture of it so I'll go with a couple squeezes of that throw that in there nothing real scientific as far as measuring you guys do what you want my chopped garlic um, one tablespoon of that. I like a lot of garlic. So, starting at a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of citrus, just to, just to throw off some of the flavor of the other stuff that's going on there. Worcestershire. This is one of my secrets for the recipe. My grandma makes homemade relish. Take two tablespoons of that. A little bit of grated Parmesan. Because who doesn't like Parmesan? Two eggs. And then just mix all that together nice. And then I'll take all my spices that I already have picked out. I got some oregano, some parsley, a lot of dill, I like dill, some chopped onion, salt, some garlic powder, and a little bit of lemon pepper. I'll just mix all that in there. I just find it easier to do all my wet ingredients first and then add your spices and mix it all in real nice. Nice consistency all the way through. And then I'll take my breadcrumbs. It'll be the last thing I add in there just because once you add that in there it gets a little bit tougher to mix stuff. And it's, you go with about a cup breadcrumbs and that'll give you what you want when you get that all mixed up and it almost turns into like a wet dough just get it all mixed up nice and good so that way your consistency is pretty balanced all the way through Now once you get done with that, what you want to do is start making patties or balls. I like to go with about the palm of your hand. Make your balls and then flatten them out and then put them on a plate off to the side. Get all your balls made up and then you can start preheating your geese. Grease, excuse me. So uh, yeah, you guys follow these simple steps and then we'll get down to the cooking part of it here in just one minute. Alright guys, so I got these things in my oil bath. I throw a half a stick of butter in there just for flavor. What you want to do is just the same thing as hash browns. Cook them until they're golden brown on one side, flip it over, and then repeat the process for the other side. And I usually let them sit for a minute or two. Garnish them with maybe some lemon juice or some lime juice, whatever you guys want. And then mashed potatoes go great with these things. It's just another spin on one of your guys' favorite meals, you know, being fish. But this is one way that I found that I can get my whole family to eat it. Um, it's probably my new favorite way to eat fish, actually. Just the amount of flavor that you can get it with it. And then, uh, yeah, just garnish, you know, garnish it with a little bit of uh, lemon juice or lime juice, whatever you prefer. And then some homemade tartar sauce. So... Hope you guys enjoy this. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. Till next time, guys. Tight lines. Say hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Eat it. What do you think? Good. Good? Is it deliciousness? What do you think of it? Deliciousness. Say bye.